Hello and welcome to our, I guess this is our IF Keto like live broadcast on a Friday afternoon. Today? I know. <laughs> welcome if you're joining us live, if you're catching this on the rebroadcast, we also appreciate you guys jumping in with us after we post this here on our Facebook page, as well as upload it to the Diane Parham uh, YouTube channel as well. So today we have some great news. We are going to be doing a giveaway today about uh, what we are going to be talking about today. And the giveaway has been graciously supported by the Modus Nutritional Shake uh, provider. Uh, they will be shipping off a tub of our Modus Vegan Protein Shake to a lucky uh, winner from our broadcast. So this is how we're going to do the giveaway to make it fair to everyone. We are gonna let the giveaway run for 24 hours. What you will need to do to qualify for uh, the giveaway possibility is to make sure you leave a comment here on our Facebook page and or YouTube channel when this is uploaded. We are asking that you share this broadcast um, or share um, on the YouTube channel and that you have to be liked or subscribed to both places and um give us a like and all those kind of things. So we need to know you're here, basically, is the way that we uh, are gonna draw off who will be winning this amazing tub of uh, uh, vegan protein shake. It's backwards on the video, so it takes me a second to like figure out how to show it. There it is, okay. So what I'm going to do today is talk specifically about when it is you should be supplementing with protein. I am a huge advocate of not over proteining and if you're trying to stay keto like you also have to be very aware of what your protein intake is because unused protein in your body is just like eating too many carbs it turns into glucose which then gets stored as glycogen which then becomes fat so we do definitely do not want to be over proteining our body but we want to be using a high quality protein in a moderate to low amount that our body can actually put to use. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And we're gonna, Michael and I are both gonna be sharing with you why it is we've sh um, switched protein uh, shakes and how it is we're using it in our life and how it's making us feel and the results that we've been noticing for ourselves. So why a vegan protein shake? The National Institute of Health has stated, or I guess reported, that there are roughly 65% of human beings who are lactose intolerant, and the majority of those people walk around not even knowing that they're lactose intolerant and are probably associating with their discomfort or um, maybe some even um, autoimmune disorders are linked to like food insensitivities or declining health or struggles with weight loss, whatever it is that's going on in their body digestively could be caused by being lactose intolerant and not realizing it. With me, lactose intolerant uh, showed its ugly face with uh, water retention, bloating, gassiness, and just general overall discomfort digestively. With our kids, both of our kids have um, had suffered major lactose problems from birth to today. And so we are a pretty lactose free household. Michael swore he wasn't lactose intolerant, but I think he's noticing some differences um, since we've really decreased a lot of the dairy that we've had in our house. And, um, and I'm going to talk to you guys about vegan protein supplements and whey and why it is that you should really look at what the sources are as well, even with, with a vegan types. So just like olive oil or in, and avocado oil and coconut oil and cottonseed oil and whatever kind of oil that you're using, there is a good, a great, a better, and a best version of everything. And what you end up implementing in your life is gonna be determined by the factors of your lifestyle. Uh, convenience, ease of use, uh, financial opportunities, digestively how your body responds to it. So everyone has their own little chemical reaction and then outside forces in their lifestyle which really do determine what it is you're gonna be supplementing or using in your dietary lifestyle. So whey protein, because it is a milk-based product, does 
usually cause a lot of lactose discomfort and it's really difficult to digest specifically for women for whatever reason i don't know what it is but most women once they switch from a whey type of protein to a vegan type of protein they notice immediate uh, relief in bloating inflammation and overall digestive discomfort so that's the first thing with whey. There are three different types of whey proteins as well. And again, there's the good, the better, and the best. Um, and it all just depends, again, on what protein supplements you're using, cost factors, convenience, all that kind of stuff. Well, the same thing holds true with vegan uh, protein supplements. I had been using a protein, I mean, a, um, a plant-based supplement in my past, which was primarily comprised of a pea protein. Pea protein is the better version of a vegan protein supplement. But what I have found since switching is that the version of a vegan protein supplement that I'm using now is the best for my body. And that's just basically what it's comprised of. So the primary source of the vegan base of this protein shake that we're going to talk about today is pumpkin seed protein, um, potato protein, and what was the other protein? I'm reading off their sheet, so I'm making sure I'm getting my facts right here. Um, what is the other one? I think there's another one in there. So protein pumpkin seeds, I think sunflower seeds are the primary base of what the protein is made up from this shake to make it vegan. My body has just responded very well to that. And I know that there have been um, a lot of women that have reported back to me as far as vegan shakes go, that their healthcare practitioners have advised them to stay away from pre pea protein because in some people it does act as an, uh, a phyto estrogen so it can keep your hormones in a little bit of a state of imbalance i, I, I took a look at it it's the, the pumpkin seed um uh, and you got the potato yep. protein is that the one you missed yeah i got potato so it's pumpkin and protein cranberry and think, yeah cranberry and i think there's also a sunflower seed in there as well um but we can provide you guys with all that breakdown what I primarily want to talk about today, because I have been such an advocate about not supplementing with protein shakes, is why it is as an aging community, it is important to supplement with protein. But we're gonna I'm gonna share with you how we've done it in our house so we don't overprotein ourselves. I have noticed as my body has really um, become very sensitive to what I put in it and I've just become a little bit more in tune with how my body responds is that I have to put the best of the best in it or I feel it and I have really been paying attention to a lot of the animal protein that I've been consuming I've shared that with you guys here as well in the fact that um, I just don't feel as good as I know I can when I'm consuming too much animal protein it has nothing to do with my belief of, you know, consuming meat or any of those kind of things. It's a feeling that I have when I consume certain things. And I've noticed that when I have subbed out animal protein and subbed in a vegan protein supplement that I feel at my absolute best. Um, and so I have been taking one out and putting another one in. That's how I have avoided overproteining myself. And my body has responded very well to that sort of routine. I also love shakes because they make my life super simple. And, um, and so when I was giving myself a break from shakes because I knew the shake that I was consuming wasn't making me feel great anymore, um, I really did miss the convenience of it and I did miss the, the ease of how my body was utilizing what I was putting into it. Um, and now that I'm training for a half marathon, I'm really, really working on making sure I get my, my nutrition dialed in so I keep my body performing at its best. And I know, Michael, you've been kind of feeling the same thing as well as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, you know, and I was really used, like you said, the convenience of always having that shake, and uh, the shake we used to use when it was gone, it was like, uh, what am I, gonna do? what am I going to do now? Uh, and I'm, I feel so thankful that we found uh, this shake because it's, it's definitely uh, filled the void uh, that we were looking for as far as the quality protein. Right. Yeah. So let me break down a little bit of the nutritional makeup of what Modus Nutritional Shake has in it. So there's seven grams of BCAAs, and BCAAs are branched chain amino acids. So why are branched chain amino acids so important, and why is it so great that you can get this 
included in your shake. So branch chain amino acids are a class of essential amino acids that the body can use for muscle and or protein synthesis. So it's basically the same thing, muscle and protein. So it's what your body needs to make new muscle protein. We know as aging women, and I know Michael has noticed as well as an aging man, that as we age, we naturally lose our lean muscle mass. It was a huge like bummer realization for me as a woman who has been working out almost my entire adult life to, to, to feel and notice that when I was working out, I wasn't getting that same edge as what I like to have in my own physique. When I looked in the mirror, I wasn't liking what I was seeing and I was doing the same things I had always been doing. Well, there's a beautiful thing that happens to us as we age and it's called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is when we lose muscle mass naturally with age and the decline of hormones that we once had in abundance. So yes, we can put another thing on our list of things that we have to get ready to lose as we start to age. The good news that I have for you guys today is even though there is that thing called sarcopenia that we suffer as we age and our muscle just doesn't stick with this the way it used to, is there's three things we can do to offset or repair that aging effect. One is exercise. So keep exercising. Two is nutrition, keeping your body fueled with nutrient-dense foods. And the third thing that we need to do to offset the natural tendency that our body has to lose muscle is supplement with good quality protein. We don't want to have to find sources of protein that we hope are going to be nutrient dense. We don't want to have to hope that the protein sources that we're putting in our body are not tainted with a bunch of antibiotics and and um, and whatever else that they're doing in the, in the industry today to taint food to get it from wherever it's starting from to the market in the cheapest and most efficient way. That's not always the best for us, and that's not always the best way for our body to utilize the protein sources that we need to offset this aging process or to keep us in the game. We need good quality protein, and we need to be 100% confident that it is going to be the best that our body can utilize. So. We need good sources. We need those branch chain amino acids in our body to help our body recover and help our body produce new protein so that we can offset the sarcopenia that we just happen to have to suffer from as we age. But we can suffer from it with grace and we can learn how to offset it with nutrition, exercise, and proper supplementation. Okay, sarcopenia? Sarcopenia. sarcopenia. What did I say? Sarcopenia. Sarcopenia. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm here for. S-A-R-C-O-P-E-N-I-A if you want to research that yourself. Okay, we have 30 grams of vegan-based protein. And you're probably going, oh my gosh, 30 grams. That's so many grams of protein. Well, if you're taking protein sources out and you're adding new protein sources in, you are not over-proteining. You're taking out and you're supplementing with something new. So I just off the top of my head calculated out how many protein grams I get in a day, and it's probably 50 to 70. I have my Moda Shake and I have my collagen peptides. That together is about 48 grams of protein. I don't seek out any other sources of protein to add on to that. They may naturally fall on my plate. They may come from some other uh, vegan protein sources that I have, but I'm not loading myself up with egg whites or masses amount of chicken breast or T-bone steaks to try to amp up my protein level. I'm getting what I need through my supplementation, and that is the best form and quality that I can find and my body is absorbing it very well. There's three and a half grams of fat and in this community of intermittent fasting and living a keto-like lifestyle, we like fat. So we definitely don't want to have a protein shake that has zero fat in it. We want to have those good sources of fat grams as well. There's less than one gram of sugar and nine grams of fiber. So let's talk macronutrients. We know if you were to read this label, it says that there are 11 grams of total carbohydrates. 
Well, when we subtract the nine grams of a dietary far yes. fiber, that leaves us with two net grams of carbohydrates. So very, very low on its carbohydrates. And this is where I wanna talk a little bit about the difference between a protein supplement to enhance protein synthesis and keep our body healthy and a meal replacement shake. When you're consuming a meal replacement shake, it has lots of different components in it to replace food. That generally equates to a larger carb count in your shake. So less protein, probably less fat and higher carbs, which is exactly the opposite of what Michael and I are trying to achieve in our life with what we're doing with intermittent fasting and keeping a keto-like lifestyle. I would much rather have my carbs come from a bag of Siete chips and some uh, guacamole and some salsa than in a shake that I'm drinking. I'm very aware it of- It is the, Friday night. It is Friday night. I'm very aware of the carbohydrates that I, that I consume in a day. So I don't want them coming from my shake. I would rather have them come from an area of my nutritional life that's a little bit more social or a little bit more um, lax, I guess, for lack of a better term. So I don't want it in my shake. And so that is where Modus really has um, kind of helped us bridge a gap where we were able to lower our carb count overall for our day and increase a good quality protein with a little bit of fat in it. This is soy-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free, which you know is a big deal for me. And it also has no corn fillers in it as well. So a pure plant-based protein supplement. Um, some other things that I wanted to kind of highlight uh, from, the information, from the information sheet that I have here to kind of help you guys understand why it is we are so passionate about this shake and why it is I want you guys to be passionate about it as well is um, some of the other um, key amino acid elements that are in this shake and what it does for us as our bodies are aging. Um, Lysine, proline, and glycine. Uh, those are amino acids that support collagen production. Yes, hello, I will take that. Uh, which makes our joints, connective tissue, and bones stay strong and healthy. Again, I'm training for a half marathon. I consider myself an athlete. I want to make sure that I'm getting the same supplementation, the same quality of supplementation, the same muscle, body, joint, connective tissue support that some 23-year-old professional baseball player is getting. I'm at the same breaking point that they are. They're working at a higher level. I have more risk of injury. So if this kind of protein shape shake is developed for professional athletes to stay in the game and keep their bodies healthy, then I want it in my body too, because I've just had more time in the game. Um, I may not be working at the same intensity level, but I have more, just the same amount of opportunity to break down as someone as a high, at working out at a high intensity, because I have more time in the game. So I'm loving what it's doing for me to keep my body healthy because I want to stay active. I want to stay running. I want to stay in that half marathon game uh, that I love being in as far as training and racing. And I know that this is going to help me with that. And Michael's feeling the same way with what he's, what he's doing on his Peloton bike, what he wants to do with his strength training. We don't have time to blow out a knee or have a shoulder injury or have back aches and ankle aches and hip aches. We don't have time for that. We don't that. have time for that old man oh, recovery. Old you know man. that old man, you know what I mean by old man <laughs> recovery is that you get out of bed slow and it's like the last thing you want to do is work out because that the inflammation and this is good for the inflammation as well uh, with the antioxidants that are in it uh and you take one step out of that bed and it's like i'm not going to work out i just i just can't i'm not feeling it you know because because you your your muscles are are sore and and they're just not repaired enough at that point uh for you to work out successfully so i like the fact that I can go back into a workout uh, the the very next day. The recovery for me is a, is a lot quicker uh, having a protein supplement like this. No squeaky, cracky, poppy, achy joints are going to be happening in this house if no. you can help it. And then there's all also tyrosine, tyrosine, and that is a precursor to neurotransmitters, dopamine norepinephrine and epinephrine in your brain. And we talk a lot here about 
of how we're trying to keep our brain healthy. So can you imagine being able to have a chocolatey smoothie protein shake that's going to not only keep you in the game physically, but also help your brain as well. And anything that I do, I want to get the most bang for my buck. I don't want to be taking, you know, 15 different supplements. I don't believe in over supplementing. I don't believe in being, uh, feeling desperate about my supplementation, I want to make sure that what I'm putting in my body is going to give me the most bang for my buck. And if this can help my uh, body um, uh, restore and hold on and utilize collagen better and can also help my brain function better, then I'm in the game. Um, and I know that I don't have to spend my day popping a bunch of pills and doing a bunch of extra things. I can do it all in one event in a day within my feasting window. Um, and then we have arginine, which helps support circulation, um, oxygenation to the muscles so that you can achieve greater performance with less fatigue. And I have to say that that's the one thing that I have felt the most um, since implementing this, and I, and I drink mine in my feast post-workout, is I immediately feel like my body has just awakened. Um, so I can have a grueling workout on my bike, or I can have a grueling workout in the hot, humid sun here in Texas. And as soon as I put this nutrition in my body, I feel like I'm ready to go again. Like I could, I could go out and run another ride, run or take another ride. Like my body and my muscles and my joints and everything in my system just feels like it's ready and primed to go again. And, and that just means you can get through life feeling better as well. And then the last thing, uh, Michael talked about it a little bit, is uh, high in antioxidants. And that does come from the cranberry seeds and the pumpkin seed protein. Um, and we are always trying to seek out um, as many antioxidants as we can in any uh, feasting opportunity we have because we know that, that just kind of helps offset those free radicals that tend to break us down as well. So we love it. We love the way it makes us feel. Um, I want to also, you know, reiterate what I always say here is that Michael and I are not in the practice of, uh, you know, telling you guys what you need to put in your feast. We always just want to share with you what it is that we're doing and offer suggestions for you. If what you're doing for you is working, you keep doing what you're doing that's working for you. Um, we are not affiliates for Modus um, Nutritionals, meaning we don't get paid if you purchase this protein shake we are just here to help spread the word about really good nutrition because we think everyone deserves to know when there's good nutrition available to put in your body because there are a lot of gimmicks out there there's a lot of smart talking there's a lot of fast talking and there's a lot of people who are claiming and pro uh, professing things that just aren't always true for everyone and so we always want to provide education here and our own personal experience and an opportunity for you to do your research. Um, there's nothing on the line for us other than we're going to get excited about you guys feeling better um, and living your best life. And so we purposely did not put ourselves in a position to be affiliates for this company. I am personally a brand ambassador because of the um, experience and education I have um, for myself as a um, certified exercise nutrition coach. So. That's why we are sharing and offering this with you guys because we just want to share the love. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to also mention about uh, vegan proteins and especially this particular one is the absorption absorption um, calibrated for optimal muscle repair and why it is I think it's important for aging individuals just as much as it is for the professional elite athlete and the level in which the they work at. Um, I want to make sure that my muscles have every opportunity to look and feel their best. Because if my muscles and my joints and my body systems are looking and feeling their best, then that just translates to me and my body looking and feeling its best. And um, that's what I love so much about this protein shake in particular is that it has been formulated to release in your body when your body needs it at its most optimal time. So there are 33 grams of protein in a serving of this shake, but those grams are released in a time sensitive sort of, I guess if you could say call it time release, like if you would take a time release capsule, 22 grams of protein um, or the full uh, essential branch chain amino, amino acids um, are quick absorbing in your body. So your body's going to get that immediate 
release of amino acids that it needs to start that protein synthesis. And that's important because we don't want our muscles to um, eat off themselves. We don't want them to cannibalize themselves. So we want to make sure that we get that in our body so that muscle um, uh and, and protein synthesis can happen when your body needs it. And that's what's going to keep us from breaking down. So if you're a woman or a man who's been working out, but you're aging and you're like, how come this same workout isn't working for me like it did 10 years ago? Well, now you have a tool in your tool belt that can help that workout work out just for you, the same way it did for you when you were 10 years younger or five years younger. And that's really what Michael and I have been noticing. And I have immediately been noticing since I started back into running. My physique has changed in literally a few days. And that's what Michael used to tell me. If you're not happy with the way your body's feeling, just go out and run. Go get three or four runs in this week and your body will be changed by next weekend. And that used to be true for me. And then that stopped being true. And I've been running now consistently. I'm, this is my first week I'm rounding out with my half marathon training. And I'm already seeing changes in my physique. I'm already seeing, already noticing the lean muscle in my legs changing. I'm noticing that my core is changing. And that little layer of what I call hormonal cellulite on my abs is starting to get eaten away and disappear. And so my workouts are now working for me the way they used to. And the only thing that's changed is that I am putting a halt to my body's muscle not going through muscle synthesis. I've stopped that and I've given it the tools that it can now use to put my muscles back in that repair and rebuild mode so I can have that lean muscle mass that I want to have as a 52 year old postmenopausal woman. Um, we deserve to have that muscle mass. You just have to make sure that you're doing the right things nutritionally and fitness wise to preserve it. And sometimes that means when your body is not um, producing what you need on the inside because it just doesn't have what it used to have to make that happen hormonally, you have to supplement. You have to get those exogenous things into your body and make it work for you. And that's just the bold truth about the aging process. Sometimes you have to put some things in. We do it with our collagen, with our skincare. We do it with our collagen, with our supplementation. And yes, you have to do it with good quality protein as well, because what used to work just doesn't work. And it's just because our body is in a different chemical state. Yeah. And just don't be stubborn about it. Because yeah. It, you know, it's really easy to, to be stubborn about uh, uh, taking supplements that you need, especially if you're aging uh, or if you're an athlete, you know, you need those extra supplements. But sometimes we can be a little stubborn, like, well, I'm not going to spend the money or I'm not going to be sold. That's what's great about this, too, is like we don't feel like we have to sell you anything. We're telling you about a great product that we're using that we're not getting paid for. But, you know, it's it's worth it's going to be worth every cent to use it. Um so don't be stubborn with it. Uh, I know there was a time we were pretty desperate. We were in that, what do you call it, supplement supplementation desperation, and we just couldn't find the right products. I mean, we're trying everything, you know, GNC, and what, we were try, trying anything we could get our hands on and just not getting the results, you know, so we took we're all trips. about results. We took many trips back to the store with yeah. our receipts, you know, and when you're trying supplements, make sure you're trying things that have a money back guarantee, a 30 day money back guarantee. And we utilized that big time in the last uh, probably like three or four months. Like we would try something and go, nope, and take our receipt and take it back and get our money back and then take that money and try something else. And if it didn't work, we took our uh, receipt back and our product back and we got our money back until we found this and we have been very happy with it. We've been using it for a couple months and we want to share that with you because don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. Use what's what's good and what's quality. So just to review the three, there's three primary um, vegan sources. I think I said sunflower seed before, but it's potato, cranberry seed, and pumpkin seed. Um, so it's real food protein sources that's being utilized in the shake. So your body's going to absorb that protein and digest it very quickly. Um, this protein shake is also environmentally friendly and allergy sensitive alternative, meaning there is a very low chance of your body having um, a response to it that's going to be a negative response because there's 
nothing in this shake that should cause anyone an insensitivity unless you're just that person that's allergic to something like pumpkin seeds or cranberry seeds. Um, and yes, that happens. So test it out. And um, if and, and I think I know for sure Modus has a money back guarantee as well. And you can reach out to me if you purchase it through the link that we provide. Um, like I said, Modus has been super generous. We have had a great response in our community. There's lots of uh, people who have already tried this shake and they are loving it. So if you've tried it, please put a comment in the comment section and let everyone else know um, that you're happy with what you've been implementing in your protein supplementation. Um, and Modus has been very generous. They are going to be giving away a full tub to one of our broadcast viewers, whether you're catching it live or on the rebroadcast, we ask that you like this video, that you share this video, and that you leave a comment. Anyone who's done those things, we will put you on our drawing list. We will announce a name on Monday. So make sure you circle back around um, and check out who the lucky winner is of a full tub of Modus Protein. So that's pretty generous. Um, and then what else do we have to say about that? Oh, and then we have a discount code as well. So Kara, um, if you could put the link to the discount code, you uh, get, I think it's a 10% discount if you order through the D-Y-A-N-N-1-0 -N coupon code, which is a great um, discount opportunity for you guys as well. Make sure you utilize those discounts anytime you get them. Um, and any questions that you guys have that we could answer for you about anything that we shared with you. I am not a sciencey person at all. I am a touchy feely person. Uh, you could talk to me about the science of things all day long and it means nothing to me if I can't put something in my body and see how it feels. Every protein shake that we have tried over the past several months had all kinds of accolades about how great it was, but man, when we put it in our body, we just didn't feel it. So make sure you're reading, um, make sure you're researching, and then make sure you're actually experimenting and be okay if something isn't working for you. Take it back, go to the next thing, and try until you find what works for you. That's what we did, and that's what we found, what works for us, and we're super happy about it. Kids are drinking it as well. Yeah, and, and it tastes good. <laughs> and it tastes good. So um, that's a plus, too. Any questions, let us know. Always circle back around. Um, if you have questions later, we come back and we review these. And um, if you are in our courses um, online, our Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course or any of our other courses, uh, Dr. Robert Pastore, who formulated this shake, who has been the scientist and the doctor behind this will be doing a uh, lecture and sort of a training session for our community as well on how women who are non-athletic but are aging, non-athletic meaning you're not a professional athlete because I know that that term has scared a lot of people away, but I'm not an athlete. How can I benefit from this? You just have to be a living, breathing person who has muscle um, and wants to live a really healthy and nutritious lifestyle and something like this will work for you. And he's going to address our community specifically on how this supplement can benefit us as men and women who are aging but want to stay in the athletic game um, for ourselves. So that'll be really great. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'll let you guys know when that's up and in your course material. Have a fantastic uh, Labor Day weekend. It's the close out of summer, which we're kind of bummed out about, but we're happy because our son is coming home from college. So we'll be spending the uh, weekend with Logan, who's coming in from SMU to spend some time with us. So thanks for joining with joining us. Make sure you do the three things that we ask. So you'll be considered for our drawing for a tub of motor shake. And then, um, do we have any questions? On we'll that? see you. I didn't see any. I'd like to qualify for the giveaway. Okay, so Jillian, make sure you do the three things we asked for. Kim Puller is drinking Modus and she's loving it. Yes, it's super good and super easy to use. Linda's there and I think that that is it. Awesome, I think that's it, right? Anything up there? No, I think anything else. Oh wait, here's a couple here. Let's see, nope, that's it. Awesome, so Kara, thanks for putting the link there. Thanks for putting the discount code. Make sure you guys use it. Um, and like I said, uh, Dr. Pastore will be speaking to our uh, uh, group hopefully in the next week or two, or sending a video for us to use to educate us a little bit more on the scientific side of things. Michael and I, are that's not our forte, but we do like to share with you how we've been utilizing it in our family and how we're feeling about it. And hopefully the real world experiences that we um, have to share with you will help you guys figure out what you guys need to do for your life as well. Have a good rest of your weekend, and we will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.